my name is Corey Hibbs, and I'm the co-artistic director of City Opera. I am also the musical director and librettist for Queen of Carthage. Queen of Carthage is a dynamic reimagining of Henry Purcell's Dido and Aeneas. In Queen of Carthage, the music is by Henry Purcell, but the new libretto delves into themes that speak to who we are as a 21st century audience. In the original Dido and Aeneas, Dido falls in love with Aeneas, but is sabotaged by a supernatural being. In our version, Dido is that supernatural being. There are many challenges to dealing with a location like this. We have to bring in electricity, we have to bring in sound equipment. In a traditional opera house, Singers and musicians have the hard surfaces and the back walls of the opera house to resonate their sound off of. But here in the open, we don't have any resonant surfaces. So we have to bring in those sound devices that allow us to project our voices and to project our instruments so the audience can hear us and follow along. The orchestra in Queen of Carthage is made up of six different players. We have five string players and one harpsichordist. In the space, the orchestra exists as its own entity that complements the action and the storytelling that's happening on stage. The orchestra complements the singers in the way that we imagine music complements all of our lives. When we're walking down the street and we hear a soundtrack in our head, that's the role of the orchestra in the opera.